Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new FIFA 21 career mode and this time I'm going to be taking on Barcelona and I can't wait for this career mode guys. You know Barcelona right now in real life failing in the Champions League also obviously in the top 3 or 4 at the moment in La Liga but we're going to try and transform Barcelona back to where they used to be. So transforming Barcelona then back to a Champions League winning side is it going to be easy? Of course we've got Messi in the side and other great players. But of course, not only do we have them, we have great youth players in the squad as well that are going to help us and get this team back up and running. So if you guys then are new to the channel, with this career mode, we are going to be using the Realism mod. And so with that, we get some realistic, you know, features and also gameplay as well. Now, one of the features here is we get an injury list so we can look through at the team and also different teams there, any injuries they might have. We can go down and edit player faces, player kits, names, all sorts, boots, everything we want to change within a player. If we go down here, I've got game faces, Fransu Fati. Um, keep going down here, Serginio Dest, um, Trincao, Ricky Piwage, Elena, Pedri. We've got all these good things. Like I said, we've got all the boots unlocked as well. So not only having a realistic mod then, does it give us gameplay and new features. It also gives us a realistic transfer budget. And you guys can see here, we've got 50 million in the transfer budget to start 134k in the wage budget so right now we could probably go out and sign a semi-decent player for 50 million euros but if we're looking to make big improvements to the squad we're gonna have to sell a few players so i can't wait then to start things off in this career mode and like i said we've got so many amazing players in this squad already but like i say some of them are gonna have to be sold to try and help us get some more transfer budget in to the team but like i say already We've got an amazing starting 11, Ansu Fati. I can't wait to use him and try and get him to somewhere like 85 plus rated at some point in his career mode and try and make him one of the best left wingers in world football. So I think then in terms of the formation, I'm pretty happy with the 4 3, 3 attack. I think that covers pretty much everything. It allows us to be, you know, defensively decent with two centre mids in there, but also an attacking threat with a cam behind the striker. But now, like you guys probably know with Barcelona, They've got plenty of great quality players, but a lot of them are on the aging side. Now, we've got on here Busquets. You'll be able to see here he's 31. Messi, as we know, 33 at the moment. PK, 33. Alaba, 31. And like I said, the list sort of goes on here for Barcelona. So, a big thing in this career mode is going to be promoting the youth players like Ansu Fati, like Serginio Dest, and a lot of these other players here down on reserves. Pedri, Ricky Piric, Busquets, Alenia. Uh, Fernandez, like I said, the list goes on promoting these players into the first team. So as you guys can see on screen then, we are going to be returning the feature I answer some of your guys' questions in future episodes of the career mode. So basically what I do is I go look at the previous episode, pick out three comments, and then I go and answer them in the next episode of the career mode. So you guys leave comments down below if you want to be featured in the next episode. Like I said, the comments can be anything from players to formations to sign-ins or anything Barcelona related. And also then, as you guys can see on screen as well, I've also made a graphic that is going to track all the trophies that we do manage to win in this career mode. Now on there, of course, you can see we do have the Europa League because, you know, if worse comes to worse and we do get knocked out of the group stage in the Champions League or don't qualify for the Champions League, we might just have to play in the Europa League at some point. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but like I say, this graphic will allow us to take track of every trophy we do win. And here we have then a new feature that is coming into my career mode, and that's going to be season objectives. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been letting me know down below in the comment section that you want this feature added in to my career modes, and now it's going to be added. Now, you can see I've got one up there already, and obviously it's just a pretty basic one to win the Ballon d'Or with Messi. But I want you guys to let me know down below some objectives that we can add to this, and then hopefully with that, if we can complete a few, we can add some more money to our transfer budget next season. So just before we get properly underway then in this career mode, if you guys are excited for it, please leave a like down below on the video, guys. If we can hit over 500 likes for the first episode of this career mode, that would be absolutely amazing. And I'll make sure there's another episode out tomorrow for you guys. And also, if you are new to the channel and you're not subscribed already and you want to see more career mode videos from myself, if you go down below, hit the red subscribe button, you'll be updated daily with new videos. And also, guys, there's going to be a link to my Twitter down below in the description. So then, guys, I've already touched on then the transfer budget. Obviously, 50 million euros to work with. It's not too bad. It's not too little. But it's not going to sign us any world-class players. It's not going to sign us a Neymar. It's not going to sign us an Mbappe or anything like that. So we're going to work really well with this transfer budget to try and improve the team, but also try and develop some of the youngsters and also try and sell some of the older players to bring in some of that transfer budget for us, help us sign some world-class players. But like I say, guys, with the season objectives, 
because you know Barcelona right now are you know supposedly in debt and they haven't got as much money as you'd like to think they do. So this transfer budget thing is going to go on for the next few seasons. We might have you know maybe 60 million next season or 70 million. We're not going to have all this tremendous amounts of money. So definitely trying to complete these season objectives. We might get an extra million, five million for completing one is going to help us in the future seasons. So one of the first things then that we are gonna do in this career mode, of course, is gonna put some development plans on some of these younger players. Now you guys have to help me out down below and let me know which development plans are gonna be best, but Ansu Fati straight away here, let's try and get him on. I think inverted winger is the best way to go straight away, increase his finishing, sprint speed, vision, crossing, short pass, all these great stats that I think will benefit him in the future. Pedri now, again, I think I do prefer him as a cam, if I'm going to be honest. He does, he does play better there for me when I've used him in the past. So I think probably that inverted wide midfielder, although we might just get him on a center attacking mid. How long would that take? And that would take 25 weeks, which isn't too bad, and that could increase his overall. So I think we'll stick him on that for now. But like I say, guys, let me know down below which development plans are better for which players. So let's show you guys then some of the players that we got on the transfer list and also on the loan list as well. So starting things off, Sergio Roberto, of course. I'm uh, pretty happy selling him. 28 years of age now. So Genio Desk and you know, are breaking into the first team. Um, Titi again, injury prone, willing to let him go. And if a team is willing to pay 74.2 million for him, he's released clause, then I'd be happy for that now. If we do sell on Titi, do we go ahead and recall Toribo or do we go and get one of the younger centre-backs that's already in the reserves and promote him to the bench? You guys have to let me know down below in the comments. And then also we've added some players to the loan list as well. Like I said, I just feel like these players, especially Conrad here, 63 rated. You know, we've got Ansu Fati Trincao that probably get in ahead of him. So I don't think he'd get much game time this season. The same goes for Arby, Fernandez, Busquets and Collado there. So again, if these lads can go out on loan, that'll definitely help them. So in terms of players then that we are going to sign in this career mode, now you guys already know we've got 50 million in the transfer budget so far. And now I think just, you know, just off the top of my head right now, I think the only position I can think of improving until I see some of your guys' comments down below is probably a backup striker. Now, if we do manage to bring one in, I would happily sell at Martin Braithwaite. Of course, he's still in the team at the moment because he's sort of like our only backup striker. Of course, Messi can play there. And a number of other players can play there, but we don't have a proper number nine striker that can be a backup right now, apart from Martin Braithwaite. So I've got one player here at the moment, Patson Daka. Again, at the moment, not the most realistic signing, although, like I say, we've only got 50 million at the moment. So I still think this guy could come in and do a good job off the bench for us. So you guys, let me know down below any signings that we could make for this team in the first season. So I did then just go ahead and sim through the preseason tournament. Now you guys can see already the realism mod feature is going to be used. The injury list, Pena did pick up an injury. He's going to be out for around about six weeks. Now we also did pick up an injury to Langley, but that was only a four day injury and he has recovered. But you can see Pena is going to be out for up to six weeks. But again, luckily it isn't a more important player. So here you can see then Man City already trying to come in and loan one of our players. Fernandez again, we got him on the loan list, 69 rated right now. And he probably could get game time in our second team. But I just feel like if he went out, went out on loan, he gets so much more game time. But definitely going on loan to Man City isn't going to get him any game time whatsoever. So let's go ahead and reject that offer. And now we've got another transfer offer here then. And this time it's Spurs trying to come in and sign Aranjo. I think that's how you pronounce it, Aranjo. So, something on them lines either way. And now this is the guy I was on about where, you know, if we do sell on Titi, do we go ahead and promote this guy to the bench or do we go ahead and recall Tadebo? You guys have to let me know down below. But again, straight away here, let's just reject that offer. Here we go then, guys. Finally, an offer that I can listen to and actually probably accept this one. You can see we've had a few offers here and you guys will see them right now. And again, we've got Leicester coming here for Busquets, trying to buy him. But I just wanted to go out on loan. I don't want any teams buying any of these players again. My United coming in for our centre-back. But De La Fuente here, you can see Mainz. Uh, wanted to try and loan to buy him at the time. I've just declined that and trying to get him out on loan. Now, they are willing to take him out on loan on a one-year deal. I'm pretty happy with that. He might not get as much game time as we want him to. But we can always take a look throughout the season, see if his overall is going to increase. But again, if you go to the Bundesliga, let's go ahead and accept this offer. So now then, we do have some emails that we are going to take a look through now, guys. Now, this transfer no isn't going to plan. So far, we are not really getting any offers for any of the players that we do have up on the transfer list. But we've got a few here. We've got Arby here, a two-year loan deal. But again, I don't really want to loan him out. He's almost 70 rated, even though, you know, Ansu Fati does play on the left. Ansu Fati can play a striker. So I've worked to get Arby in the side. I still can. So again, I don't really want to loan him out. And you can see a loan offer here for Ansu Fati, of course. Not going to let him go out on loan. But we do have one here for Pereira. But again, I don't really have him on the on the loan list at the moment. So again, 
not really too interested in loaning him out. But although, to be fair, Pedri is going to be the one playing at Cam. So let's Pereira, let's go ahead and accept this loan offer right now. And now let's take a look at the youth squad because we do have one player in here which I am quite interested in. And it's this guy here, Jesus Roldan. Now you can see he can play centre mid slash CDM. He has a potential between 71 and 95. He's 18 years of age. We can get promoted straight away. He's only 56 overall, but you guys, let me know down below. Should I be interested in the Youth Academy? Could it be good? You know, could it help us increase our transfer budget? So at least now then, the transfer window is moving in the right direction. And we do have two players that are going out on loan. You can see Pereira is going to go on a one-year loan deal to Osasuna. We've also got Fernandez here going out on a two-year loan deal as well. Well, let's get into the press conference then before our first game in charge with Barcelona. And of course, we obviously have played. We haven't played it, but we simulate the preseason tournament. But this is where it gets serious right now. Our first game in La Liga. We're going to play two games in today's episode. But into the first question then. How has your preseason prepared you for the real thing? We're getting to where we want to be. I believe in these players. I definitely do. And like I say, getting some loan deals out there. Getting some players sold. And also looking at where we can improve this squad for the season upcoming. Um, is the team good enough to win the league? It's about self-belief, I'd say. You know, I definitely think we can. So, you know, we've got to have that belief to begin with. And here we go now, Griezmann, it's about him. Why are you sticking with Griezmann? Again, this is going to be a big question in this career mode. Do we keep Griezmann? Do we sell him? The same with Dembele on the left. Do we sell Dembele? Do we keep him? But if we keep him, and so Fati isn't going to get much game time. So it's all going to be a lot of discussion going on in this career mode. So again, it's going to, we'll say he'll play through it, and we'll see if he does play through it. Well, here we go then. Here is our lineup for the first game in this Barcelona career Monday. You can see we're going to go with pretty, you know, normal Barcelona lineup. Messi on the right, Griezmann up front, Ansu Fati on the left. Uh, a midfield three of Coutinho, De Jong, Busquets, a back four, and Stegen in goal as well. So again, I'm just going to put my feelers out, see how the team does perform. Obviously, Coutinho again, a little bit 50-50 on him as well at the moment. But I think it's only right to give him a go and just see how he does perform in this team. But let's get into it now against Katafi. And hopefully start things off with three points. Here we are then into this game against Katafi. And like I said, guys, looking to get off to a good start in this career mode. Hopefully Messi, you know, can sign in this game. And Cucurella now, former Barcelona player. Okay, you're already going out for a throw here. But Cucurella, I do believe he's like, what, 81 rated or something. But his release clause is, or his value is something like 100 plus million. Like, he's really hard to sign unless you've got a lot of money in career mode. But again, a really great young player. Frank de Jong now out wide. Ansu Fati. Okay, forward. Okay, getting forward decently well here. Griezmann plays the pass up. Go on. Coutinho. Okay. Okay, building up decently well. Griezmann going to find... Oh, okay. Okay, it's found Coutinho through. Messi. And it's 1-0. It's 1-0. Seven minutes in. Messi is going to score the first goal in this career mode. Assisted by Coutinho. And wow. Okay, wow. We're off to a good start in this career mode. Career mode sorry. Already... Messi, the captain, you can see the build-up here once again. That slide tackle just allowed the ball to get to Coutinho because either way, it wasn't going to him. We get the ball through to Messi. And, of course, on his left foot, it's going in. Near post. And there we go. Already one that up. Eight minutes in to the first game. Jordi Alba winning it back in midfield. Let's get forward now. Griezmann looking at Ansu Fati. Go on, let's try and play him in. Okay, he might just be offside. He might just be offside. Okay, he is. He is offside. No, man, is if Ansu Fati... Making some good, decent runs already in this game. You can see, just trying to time it perfectly there. But again, just so close, but just offside. Pass forward from Coutinho now. Griezmann looking. Franzi Fati maybe making a run once again. Okay, never mind. In the middle here. Messi, okay. Okay, just, just waiting for space to open up really. Okay, through the middle here. Dest, Messi once again. Down, Coutinho. Oh, okay, blocked at the final second here. Getafe doing really well defensively, you know, obviously after the opening goal. But apart from that, we just can't really find a space at the moment. Griezmann win the header. Griezmann unable to win the header. Coutinho. Okay, go on, Griezmann. Go on, what a ball that is. And it's in. Oh, my God, it's in. 2-0, 48, 49 minutes in. And Griezmann scores the second goal in this game. And what a ball that was from Coutinho. I don't think I seen the pass. I think Griezmann was off the screen. Although, oh, what a pass. What a pass. And there we go. 2 0 up now, just as, you know, the second half has started. Let's take a look at the replay of that because I don't think I seen that pass. And yeah, I didn't. Oh, no. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. But that's a great pass in the end. And the touch. And the finish there. On his left foot once again here. Left footed goal. And there we go. 2 0 up now in this game. Oh, here we go. Ansu Fati inside. Griezmann. Oh, here we go. Messi. No. Okay, we just lost it there. Cucurella. Okay. Pulling out the skill moves in midfield of Meccano going to Arsenal. We will take a look at some points at the end of today's episode at some of the uh, transfer deals that happened so far. I think I've seen Richarlison 
going to Atletico Madrid, which is interesting because in the United career mode, it was Calvert-Lewin that went to Atletico Madrid. So again, it looks like we're going to be facing Richarlison in La Liga. But let's see now, Coutinho forward again. That pass earlier on was amazing. Griezmann looking maybe down here to Ansu Fati, looking for support though. Okay, up, oh, Griezmann. Okay, maybe forward. And oh, we just couldn't get it forward there to Vansi Fati. Okay, Gattafi getting forward here. There's Diaby with the skill moves. Come on, let's just clear that. Frankie De Jong. Okay, what? What? How has that got in? How has that gone in? Gattafi managed to bring themselves a goal back in this game. And out of all the goals I've conceded, that is the one I least expected to go in, if I'm going to be honest. Like, what? To Stegen, What? Look at this, blocked on the rebound, and there, just over the top there, number nine, goes in the back of the net here, this chance, great goal, you've got to say, great goal, and I just didn't expect that to go in, bottom corner as well, but there we go, Katafi bring themselves one back in this game. Oh, here we go, Pjanic now, pass up, Coutinho, maybe out wide now, Ansu Fati, come on, we need some runners, Messi, oh, trying to get it to Messi there, couldn't get it to him in the end, now Katafi's turn to hit us on the break, 78 minutes in now. Come on, we should just be able to see out this win. Surely we can just see out this first win. Three points will be nice in the bag to start things off in this league. And okay, Gattafi again. Now they've got themselves a goal. You can tell they've got confidence. Oh, Coutinho, go on. Up here, Dembele. Let's go. No, oh, Dembele, go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hit it. Go on, it's in. And it's in. There we go. 3-1. Dembele just coming on now for Ansu Fati for the last couple of minutes in the game. And he already comes on and scores within minutes and there we go surely that is the win in this game now what three minutes to go plus added time that should be the winner there you can see the slide tackle there still able to run on through i did see Griezmann for making the run i was half tempted to make the pass messy there on the other side of the box but i thought no let's go for the shots and there we go three one in this game so we're just waiting for the full-time whistle now then two minutes have been played and there it is we get a three one win away from home in our first game of the season. If anything, I'm just more happy to get three points on the table to start things off. Well, here you can see then, guys, the other teams that did get a win in their first game. Real Madrid is amongst us. Obviously, Atletico Madrid did end up getting a draw in their first game. You go up here. I think they got a 2-2 draw. I think it was away from home. Yeah, it was away from home against Ibar. So, again, a decent start from us in La Liga. So, I was going to show you guys then at the end of the episode. But I think before we do get into our next game and the final game for today's episode, we're going to take a look at some of the top deals that have happened so far. So, as we know, Open McConnell to Arsenal. Richarlison to Atletico Madrid. Jonathan Tart going to Spurs. So, they did, so they did end up signing their centre-back in the end. Brooks going to Chelsea. That's an interesting one. Um, Montez, Eduardo going to Hertha Berlin. Hertha Berlin also signing Ben White. Uh, Mitrovic going to Leverkusen. Okay, some interesting transfers that happened so far then. And Max Ahrens going to Bayern Munich for 11 million euros. Wow, okay. Armstrong, okay, making a move that I didn't expect him to make. And Liverpool making a signing there from Dynamo Kiev. So again, we're going to keep updated on these transfers. So just before we do get into our next game and the final game for today's episode, you can see here we do have an offer here from Bayer Leverkusen. Want to take a lane here on a one-year loan deal. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and reject this offer just because I feel like he would come in use in our second team that is going to play in the cup competition. So again, I'm going to go ahead and reject this. And now an offer has come in from Napoli for RB. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and reject this again. I'm just taking a look. I do have him actually on the loan list right now. So I should have realistically accepted that other offer. Um, but yeah, Napoli is not going to get any game time there whatsoever. Well, let's get into our final game then for today's episode. Taking on Atletico Bilbao. Now, they did obviously get a draw in their first game. I do believe they're in 12th place right now. So I'm pretty certain... They did get a draw. Did they draw against Atletico Madrid? I don't know. I can't remember, guys. I don't know how I can't remember. Either way, I think they got a draw in their first game. Now, you can see the team that we are going to field for this one the same as last time out. But I think this time, depending how Ansu Fati is playing, I might bring Dembele on just a little bit sooner. Coutinho had a great game last time out. I'm hoping for more of the same in this game as well. Now, we are playing at home for this game. And now, with the mods that I am using... I'm pretty certain I do have a mod enabled that should allow us to play in the Camp Nou. Now, I have renamed the stadium to Camp Nou. Now, when we go into the game, we'll just have to see if that mod has taken effect. But let's get into this game then against Atletico Bilbao. And now, with the mods that I'm using, I did try and enable a mod that allows me to use the Camp Nou stadium. And now, I don't think it's worked, although it does look similar. I don't know if this is just a stadium that comes with, you know, you know, FIFA. When you start the career mode, you sort of get one, a generic one that sort of looks somewhat similar. Um, and I don't think it's worked fully, because what I remember from Camp Nou, I have been there in real life, but I was a lot younger 
when I went to Camp Nou. I think I was between the ages of 8 and 10. And it was that long ago. This is where Ronaldinho, Deco, them sort of players played for Barcelona. And also, I think it was their away kit or third kit was sort of like a, a very bright yellowy green. It was a long, yeah, a long, long time ago. Like I say, when I visited Camp Nou, it was a lot taller than what I'm seeing on the game. But again, it's a mod. And like I say, I'm going to have to see if it is properly enabled. Okay, Busquets almost getting taken out by Garcia. But maybe over the top here, try and find Griezmann. And in the end, the goalkeeper, an easy one to collect there. But hoping to get off to a good start like we did in the last game. And okay, go on, Messi. Go on. Go on, Messi. Go on. Control it. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. Take it inside. Go on. The finish is maybe there. Oh, as if... I did have options available. Don't get me wrong. I did have options available. I wanted to try and take it on his own, the Messi there. Tried our best. Just try and get around the defender. In the end, get ourselves a corner. Messi whips it in. It's a good corner. Langley now, maybe on the volley, but it's blocked. Jordi Alba plays the pass inside. Ansu Fati now getting forward. Ansu Fati, the pass over Griezmann. And as if Athletico Bilbao again denying us from a goal scoring chance there. That was really clean. I thought Griezmann might just be able to get a foot to it, but he couldn't. But 15 minutes in here, and I'd say we're pretty much all over them. Griezmann, here we go forward now. Dion, come on, we've got to get a goal here, surely. And as if again, denied once again. Was it the goalkeeper it bounced off this time, or was it the defender? Let's take a look at this here, and I think it was the defender. Oh, no, it was the goalkeeper making a save. Fair enough. Messi whipped in a decent corner before. Whips it in once again. Come on. The header. Oh, the header was there, but it was just poor in the end. Alaba playing it down the line now. Ansu Fati. Come on, he can run onto that. Can Ansu Fati now work it inside? Come on, Ansu Fati. The roulette. Okay, maybe the finish is on as if. That would have been a great, well-worked goal there by Ansu Fati, but unable to. Okay, okay, come on. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Let's get it headed away. Never mind. Lopez now. All he's got to do is play the right passes here, and Bilbao could be in with a chance. 38 minutes in. Ball over the top now. Sanchez. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Let's not concede. Come on. We started the game off really well here. No way. Clear that. Clear that. Clear that. Clear it. Clear it. Clear it. Thank God. Coutinho. Coutinho getting forward well. Coutinho. Go on. Griezmann's free in the box. Go on. Down. Messi. Come on. And he's in. And he's in. There we go. Come on. And he's onside as well. 54 minutes in. Messi scoring once again for us. And we go one that up in this game. Finally, I feel like it's well-deserved. But Atletico Bilbao have been really good at the back. I've got to say there as well. The pass across Griezmann. Messi all three. And there we go. On his left foot. Off the post and in. And there we go. Finally, the goal that we do deserve in this game. Messi may be able to supply. Griezmann here. The ball is through. Griezmann, okay. The first touch wasn't too great there. But he didn't really have much room to move in but we've got what 10 minutes left then in this game we've got Pjanic on now Dembele on as well like I said the two same changes we made in the last game and I'm hoping Pjanic coming on just gonna add some legs in the midfield because as we know Busquets don't have the best pace okay we could concede Jordi Alba there cutting that one out okay we could be in trouble here then 88 minutes in come on Alba do the same there we go that's great let's get forward now Coutinho come on runners Pjanic maybe okay never mind Messi Pjanic keep running okay keep an eye on Griezmann here trying to play it through to Griezmann. Couldn't get it through to him in the end. But that's how many minutes? Only a minute added on. Should be able to see out this win. Should be able to see out this win. Clear that one. Okay, it's a great header. And there we go. We get another win in today's episode. Not the best of wins. Just the one goal. The one goal coming from Messi in the end. But like I say, another great three points. So here you can see then, guys, the league table after the first two games have been played. Now you can see only four teams have won their opening two games. Us and Real Madrid are in that mix. Villarreal, Cadiz are in that list as well. Now, Atletico Madrid did just play a game there, Derby, against Real Madrid and lost 3-1 in that game. Now, Atletico Madrid are in 15th place, one draw. One loss so far. But like I say, guys, don't forget to let me know down below in the comment section where we could improve this team with the 50 million that we do have available to us. Like I said, we don't have loads of money. No transfer offers have come in as of yet from Titi or Sergi Roberto. So pretty unfortunate there. So we got 50 million. Do we spend it all on one position or do we try and strengthen a few areas? But there we have it then, guys. That's going to be it for the first episode of this career. And I hope you guys are excited for it. I definitely am. You know, I just can't wait to get stuck right into this. Start growing some of the younger players as well. And like I said, we do have a bit of a challenge on our hand with only having 50 million to spend in this first season. Now, of course, you know, it's not a small amount of money. You know, you can start a lot more career modes with teams that have less than 50 million. But in terms of Barcelona, you know, the board are still wanting us to win the Champions League. They're still wanting us to win La Liga. So we can't really strengthen the side. So again, you know, that 50 million has got to get, you know, put to good use in this first season. So if you guys enjoyed the first episode, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.